Hello my little gravy boats! So today's episode is the 100 subscriber special and in this one we're going to do an office tour and I'm going to be answering the questions that some of you guys asked. So let's get into it shall we? Okay guys, so this is the office tour. It's literally a closet. Like, it, it was a walk-in closet, okay? <laughs> that we have converted into my office. And that is a lovely picture of my son. And oh yeah, that one too. <laughs> of my daughter. Fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start with my shelves here first, I think. So this is like, whole view of my shelves and then we'll go ahead and start with up here so my favorite disney princess is jasmine so my mom got me this i have a pretty bowl um just because it's pretty <laughs> uh the book behind is all pictures of my son when he was born he'll be two next month which is absolutely wild and then the little frog thing that you see there is part of one of his newborn onesies i got him and my daughter some keepsake things with their birth information on it and they use the newborn onesies and they cut the little foot off so I thought I'd keep it and put it on my shelf. Um, I have a little incense burner here and some like little sign things. That is the invitation that we had for his first birthday last year. It was Moana themed and then I have a candle and that creepy looking thing right there <laughs> is uh, a statue of Ryuk. It's from an anime called Death Note and it's one of my favorites. I mean I'm probably a little bit biased because it was the first one I ever saw so I just really like it. And then behind that is more stuff of my son. I got his ultrasound picture and stuff like that and some other signs and this dog that I won as a kid at an amusement park. <laughs> I've had him forever. His name is George. <laughs> and then the second one uh, I've got this card thing that I made with my Cricut, which is here on the floor. And don't mind the little patch thing, because this was a closet. There was a beam here to hold the, the pole that you hang clothes on. So it's now been replaced with just a random patch of carpet. <laughs> but yeah, this is my crafting corner. It's a bit of a mess, uh, but we'll get to there. And then I've got a lot of these crystal things, a lot of like these little crystal skulls. I just, I really like skulls and I like crystals. I don't really believe that they do anything for you like some people do but I just think they're pretty so I kind of collect them. I've got the three peas in a pod from Toy Story. Um, I've got a little snow globe thing that my friend got me from Germany. I was supposed to go with her but some things happened and I wasn't able to. And then I'll most likely blur my face because I look like an absolute wreck seeing as how I just had my son. But yeah, this is uh, me holding him for the first time. I was bawling my eyeballs out. But uh, James's great aunt got us this frame and I love it so much. And then I've got a little candle here, a skull, another one. <laughs> I have tons. And then more crystal stuff. And then another sign. And then here I've got some mini uh, pop figure things. I've got Max from The Grinch, a little Jasmine. I've got some keys here. One is C-3PO and R2-D2 because I love Star Wars. Same with like Darth Vader because I love Star Wars. And then Anna and Elsa from Frozen because Disney is life for me. A random Dr. Pepper can because it's my favorite pop whenever I drink it. And then James Carved I Love You in it for some reason. So yeah. Um, I've got this charm bracelet. It's charms that have like the characters from Wizard of Oz and little thingies like that represent the characters because The Wizard of Oz is my favorite movie. This is my jewelry box that James got me. It's engraved with our names on it. And then I have this Beatles CD. It's one of my favorite ones. Plus I really like the way that it looks so I thought I'd just put it on my shelf. Um, I love photography so I have this camera. It's a Nikon D3300 and I have a mini one. It's actually a USB <laughs> and it looks really cute. So I got that. Um, this is a car freshener, <laughs> um, but it's from Supernatural, which is one of my favorite TV shows. And of course I also have one of Darth Vader. And then this little sign here, 
and then some more little crystal things and a ball of yarn because I tried to learn how to knit and failed epically. And then we're going to go ahead and move down to this one. So Death Note, uh, I have the book from it, like the actual Death Note. I, I, don't, I don't know how to explain that, but people that know what I'm talking about will know what I'm talking about, I guess. So yeah, I have that back there. And then this kind of starts a little bit of my pop figure collection. It's very small, but it's growing. And I'm so excited for all of my pops that I get. <laughs> but yeah, I've got the Water Knock from Frozen 2. Um, I've got, I think it's Sleeping Beauty's castle. And then Mickey. So this is Greta. She's a plague nurse plushy thing. <laughs> but she's really cute and I like her. And then we have the Plague Doctor, which I named Reginald. <laughs> and then we've got another little pop figure thing of Jeannie. And then this is a snake. I, it's the razor snake thing. <laughs> I named him Sylvester. And I put this beautiful flower crown on him. And I think it makes him look absolutely gorgeous. And then this beautiful thing right here is the mystery box from... Oh god. Brain is not working properly. One of the Call of Duties that I don't remember at this point in time. But I have that. <laughs> and I absolutely love it. I think it, it's working, but if you lift the lid, yeah, and you can put stuff in it, it's so cool. So yeah, I have that, and then I have my ancient, I think it's an iPod Nano, I don't even remember what it's called anymore. <laughs> but yeah, we've got that, and then here starts the other pop figures. So before I moved into this office, James and I were sharing one and I didn't have a place to put all my pop figures, which I didn't have many. I told people not to buy them because I just didn't have a place for them. But uh, my mom got me these Aladdin ones uh, for Christmas, I think, and maybe my birthday because Aladdin is one of my favorite Disney movies. So I've got Aladdin and Genie here and then I've got the regular Aladdin, Jasmine, Abu, Raja, and then I have Iago. And then over here I have Mufasa. He was this, I don't know, it's like one of the special edition ones that I got in my pop pop figure subscription box thing. <laughs> but he looks really cool. And then this is Rebecca from, is it, oh gosh, Tailspin, I think. And then we've got one of the green aliens from Toy Story dressed as Mrs. Incredible. Yeah, I don't know. It, I just get these random ones in subscription boxes. And then we've got this sea monster from Nightmare Before Christmas, the screen slaver from Incredibles 2, Pinocchio, characters here, uh, Maleficent, Quasimodo, and then we'll move down here. We've got, is her name Vanessa? Oh man, I think her name's Vanessa. <laughs> but we've got her, and then We've got Jack Skellington as a snowman thing. <laughs> and then one of Sally sitting, a scary face of Jack, and then another one of Sally. And then one of the kids from Nightmare Before Christmas. And then I just recently got these two versions of Cruella de Vil from the new live action Cruella movie. And then I got another one of these for Jasmine. I have a Porg from Star Wars. I have the Pride... Mickey Mouse. I've got one of the Rock Giants, Frozen 2, um, General Matias, uh, the lizard guy whose name is escaping my brain. Oh goodness sake, I don't remember his name. I've got Chip, Tiana, and then is his name Joe? Oh goodness sake. He's the main character from the movie Soul. <laughs> but yeah, uh, uh, these other shelves are empty. This whole one's empty. Space for more pop figures. And then down here I just have some journals, um, a planner, and then a book on how to learn to write calligraphy. Because I find calligraphy really pretty and I want to learn how to write it. I just have some extra frames. And that's some paint <laughs> that got stuck back there. Um, more crafty stuff for my Cricut. Some incense for my incense thingy. And then underneath here is literally just storage. It, yeah, storage. And then my craft box, which is an absolute mess. Um, it's got stuff for my Cricut and various crafts. And I've got some canvases. I usually use those mainly just for projects with the babies and stuff like that. 
And this is one of my prized possessions. It is the Juggernog fridge. Oh my goodness. Short story about this. So when they had this edition, uh, when you ordered, was it Black Ops 3? Wow, my brain is not working today. But when you ordered one of the new games, you got this fridge. You could get the edition with it. And my brother ordered it, and so did I. But GameStop had given people too many pre-orders. So mine was one of the ones that actually got cancelled because they just didn't have the stock for it. So for Christmas that year, my brother gave me his. Love it. So happy. He didn't have to do that, of course, but I'm so happy that he did because, oh my god, I love it. I wish I had the plug for it. It's somewhere. But when you open it, it makes the noise and the top bit lights up. It's awesome. So this is my chair. Nothing fancy. My trash. Very appropriately labeled. <laughs> and then my desk. So I've got my microphone, which is from HyperX. And then I've got some little thingies hanging off of it. I've got the Joker, Yoda, um, an elephant that my mom got me, and Harley Quinn, which you can't exactly see. <laughs> but yeah, she's there. And then I've got this stuff here on the side. I have a baby monitor for when I might be up here doing some things while the babies are sleeping, so I just keep an eye on them. Um, I've got my planner. I've got a little notebook, which I have turned over because it's got very non-PG things on it. <laughs> and then I've got a little fan. And the same thing with my phone holder. It's got non-PG things on it. So I have a, an old phone case over it instead. <laughs> and then my monitors. Like, all the spec stuff for these, like the monitors and everything that's in my computer, will be in the description box. Because there's absolutely no way that I could tell you off the top of my head what everything is. James built it for me. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Came home from the store one day and he just said, I bought you a new computer. I said, all right. <laughs> but yeah, I've got these. As you can see, my beautiful children's. I have my screensaver. I have the Razer Kio for my webcam. And as like with everything, I'll have my keyboard, my mouse, and headset all down in the description as well. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the actual computer. So I really love this desk because it's got a cup holder on the side. And it's got this thing that can hold your headset, which is super nifty. And I just have like a charging cable that comes down right here so I can charge it or my mouse. And I've got some charging cables on that side to charge stuff as well. But this is the main event, I guess you could say. So this is my computer. I don't think I've named it yet. I usually name things. But yeah, if you guys wanna suggest it, please go for it. But yeah, I am an absolute sucker for RGB. Like even my mouse, if I turn it on, yeah, here. RGB mouse. Like, it's... Uh, oh my goodness. I am an absolute sucker for RGB. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I gotta clean the glass thing. But yeah. Everything that James could get RGB, he did. So yeah, this is all... All that. It looks super cool. I love it so much. Now with all of these, you can manually change the colors to be whatever you want and with I think you can man manually change like the individual LEDs even if you wanted to which is a bit crazy but I leave it on the rainbow because yeah I love the rainbowness so yeah um specs down in the description if you are curious and want to know I've got my Xbox controller that I use for gaming, uh, like Call of Duty or anything on my computer. It's got dog hair all over it. Don't mind that. My dog is an absolute mess. So the other thing that I have is my mouse pad. It's a custom one. And if any of you guys know what Howl's Moving Castle is, then you'll probably understand what this is. But it's from Howl's Moving Castle. It's one of my favorite movies as well. And this mouse pad is gorgeous. Um, I guess another little thing is I have a small Disney calendar, which probably isn't a surprise, but I think that's everything in my office, really. I've got my LEDs and stuff like that. I'm going to be adding some decorational stuff, especially to this wall, 
because it's just plain. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything in my office. Hi guys. <laughs> so this will be the part where I do all of the questions that you guys have asked. And I thought that I'd just do some sheep sharing because I got to do it anyway. And I will answer your questions. So the first question was, where do you see yourself in terms of content creation in 10 years? Hopefully still creating content. <laughs> um, I do love doing it. It's really fun. I get to play games and share it with people. So it's just something that I actually really like. So yeah, hopefully uh, still doing it. <laughs> uh, the next one is what have you enjoyed most about your YouTube journey so far? Um, I think the actual ability to make videos is awesome. Um, I have, I've also liked uh, being able to talk to other people and share the stuff that I make with them and have them give feedback on things that they like to see more of, less of, stuff like that. Yeah, I think I definitely say that is just being able to interact with other people. Um, the next one is why did you start a YouTube channel in the first place? So because I like playing <laughs> and uh, I didn't know that I'd like making videos so much. That was definitely a surprise, but I'm really happy making stuff like this. And the funny thing about that actually is that when Minecraft came out, uh, my brother was super interested in it, watched like Chimney Swift and others I'm sure, but I can't think of who else, that's the main one. But um, he tried to get me into Minecraft, had me play it a little bit, and I was like, nah, this ain't for me, this game is garbage. And then when James and I started dating in 2012, he played it and got me into it, and I've loved it ever since. So I don't know what changed, if it was just because he's he wanted me to get into it, I guess. I don't know. But I'm glad that he did because now look who I am. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just really happy to be doing this stuff. And I hope that I am able to do it for a good while. <laughs> so the next question was, is Haley your real name? Yes, it is. My actual name is Haley. Um, I couldn't really think of a channel name that I wanted and I wanted it to be pretty much Minecraft themed because it's the reason why I started my channel was Minecrafty stuff. And I do hope to play some other games. Uh, so if you guys have any suggestions on what games you'd like to see, uh, definitely don't hesitate to suggest anything because I'm open to trying whatever. And yeah, so yeah, that's, that's the answer to that question. Yes. <laughs> and then the last question was, what is your favorite mob in Minecraft? Um, so I really like the Enderman. It's definitely my favorite. And I think I'd say for the reason being why is they just kind of go about their business doing whatever. And if you look at them the wrong way, they get you. And it's completely relatable because I feel it. It, I feel it in the depths of my soul. And there's a zombie. I gotta light that section up over there that we expanded earlier and I don't have torches on me, so that's good. Oh yeah, so quickly, there's a bunch of sheep in here. Got them out using wheat. <laughs> and when I was holding it out, they all like bunched up in the same spot and a bunch of them died. So now we've got tons of food, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, those were the questions. Um, I guess I could say like my favorite passive mob more so because like the Enderman's passive until you look at him, but uh, more so passive I would say is the Axolotl. I really do like the Axolotls a lot. They're super cute and I just, yeah, I just love them. So yeah, uh, that's all of the questions that you guys asked. And I thank you all for asking questions. If you have any other questions, obviously you go ahead, ask away, and I will answer them in a different video. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to end that here. I think it's pretty long as it is. Uh, gently demolish that like button. And like always, you know, gently. It's kind of important a little bit. <laughs>
Uh, but if you want to as well, you can subscribe and become a little gravy boat. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!